Uh, oh, um, good afternoon. Um, oh yeah, I was supposed to do a uh, weekly wrap up, wasn't I? Um, most of you have probably noticed or have not noticed that there wasn't one for this week. Um, the main reason for that is that no one watched last week's. Uh, so it seems like the weekly wrap up uh, wasn't that useful for you. Um, a number of you did watch the homework how to, uh, so I decided to do another one. Um, I guess before we get started, uh, Gamar Hatima Toba to all of you observing uh, Yom Kippur today. Um, you may or may not end up watching this video, but uh, here we go. Uh, this is this week's homework how-to. Um, I should probably go ahead and get changed before we start. All right, um, this is week two. Uh, I should correct that in my Google Doc. Um, and here is your homework how-to. All right, uh, so in this video, I'll be going over the four homework assignments that were given to you in week two of our class. Uh, the first homework assignment was reading like a writer. Uh, so over last weekend, um, I had you read a page from that Bun article and then uh, tell me what it means to read like a writer based off your reading. Uh, we discussed that in class on Monday. Um, and then you have from Monday to Friday to pick a short passage from a text that you had read before and to reread it this time like a writer. So that's that first assignment. Uh, the second assignment was to sign up for an initial student teacher conference. Um, so here at the beginning of the year, I wanna make sure that no students sort of fall into the cracks. So I wanna make sure that you all have an opportunity to meet one-on-one -on -one with me um, and just state what you want or need or expect from me this school year. Um, it's a chance to ask any questions, to catch you up if, you, if you're if you feeling behind at the beginning of the school year, and just to make sure that you're good um, going into our semester together. Uh, the third homework assignment was a continuation of something we did in class. So on Tuesday, we took the English 11 diagnostic, uh, which was a 40 minute multiple choice uh, diagnostic test. It was ungraded uh, and section two is also ungraded. Um, it was just to get a sense of what you know coming into the school year. Uh, so like I said, Tuesday, we took the multiple choice section in class um, and for homework uh, due on Thursday, uh, you had to on your own uh, time yourself and write in response to a prompt. Um, and then the last homework assignment, uh, which is for over the weekend. Uh, so hopefully you have already uh, worked on it or in the process of working on it. Uh, it's due tomorrow, um, is to take the poem, which we've been sort of playing around with, asking questions about all week, um, poem in which I become Wolverine by Jose Olivares, and to uh, read that poem like a writer. Uh, so to tell me, your teacher, what the purpose of that poem is you think because there may be multiple purposes to a poem um, and I just want to know what one of them is uh, according to you um, and to back that up with evidence from the poem. Um, so all of this you can access through Google Classroom. So that's where we're going to start out. Um, we're going to go to google.classroom.com um, or if you have the waffle uh, you can just open it up. Um, I think my computer is loading uh, the website, but if we open another tab, uh, I think it's actually the reverse classroom.google.com. Uh, I just learned um, either way through the waffle or by typing it into your browser, you can get onto this page um, and then you can find the period that sort of uh, coincides with you. I'm gonna be the awkward middle child today, so I'm gonna go to period two. Um, all the assignments are the same for my English 11 section. So uh, this applies to you, whether or not you're in period one or period three. Um, and uh, the first assignment, uh, like I said, is over here, reading like a writer. Uh, you're gonna do this one in your writer's notebook. Um, so let's get that open. I will use mine as a template. Um, so you wanna open up your digital notebook. Uh, once it loads, um, for a lot of you, the 
homework assignment should have should have already been copied into your version of the digital notebook. But if it's not, you can copy the slide templates for my notebook or just make your own. Uh, the useful thing about using my slide templates is that with the assignments, I always post uh, the criteria for success. Uh, so these are the check points that you need to sort of cross off or check off in order to make sure that you get a three out of three on the assignment. Uh, so uh, we want to go to the one uh, for uh, this Friday for this assignment, which was uh, reading like a writer. Um, and instructions are clearly stated here. Uh, you need to reflect on a passage that you reread like a writer. Um, you have to do that in at least a paragraph length. Um, you have to state the title and the name of the author of the text that you're rereading like a writer. Um, and you have to address at least uh, two of these questions. What was it like rereading the text that you chose to read like a writer? Did you notice any differences between the way you read the text before and the way you read it this time? Um, and finally, uh, was one form of reading better than the other? Why or why not? So you can respond to all three of those questions, but for the grade, uh, you only need to respond to two. Uh, so uh, I have the slide for you to answer that question here. Uh, and that's the assignment. Uh, it shouldn't take longer than I think uh, maybe 20 to 30 minutes tops, uh, depending on how long it takes you to reread your passage, or you're rereading it, um, annotating it, and then reflecting on it here. Um, and annotations can look like whatever you want them to. I'm not necessarily grading your annotations. Uh, I'm just grading your reflection. Um, and then uh, this was super easy, just clicking on the document for your period, uh, finding an open slot on the document you're going to be able to see in a sec, um, and just writing your name in for when you're available uh, to conference. Uh, for folks who have already signed up, I'll be emailing you um, the day of with a link uh, to our study support session, uh, and that's where we're going to have our conference. Um, I already explained what the purpose of those conferences are. Um, they're set for 10-minute slots. Sometimes we'll take the full 10 minutes if we want it to, if it makes sense, if the conversation is flowing. Um, but I've had conferences take five minutes or seven minutes, sort of depends on the nature of our conversation. All right, so two more homework assignments left. Um, the last one that was given to you in the week uh, was to write in response to this prompt. I told you to time yourself for this. So what that means is that for this assignment, you were supposed to set a timer uh, for no longer than 40 minutes um, and write in response to this quote from the late Barbara Johnson, uh, who is a really awesome uh, woman in the Senate, or not the Senate, the House of Representatives. Um, and so you are reading this quote. Uh, this is the great danger America faces, that we will cease to be one nation and become instead a collection of interest groups, city against suburb, region against region, individual against individual, each seeking to satisfy private wants. Um, and then the essay prompt is asking you to decide whether or not you agree with Jordan's position um, or you disagree, and then to explain why. Um, so it asks you to use evidence. Evidence is just anything that backs up your claim. Uh, so you can use evidence from your personal experience, evidence from the news, evidence from anything you remember reading or thinking about related to this topic, um, but you are making sure that whatever claim you have, you are backing it up with evidence. Uh, so that was the time writing, time yourself for 40 minutes, respond to the prompt. It doesn't have to be good, it doesn't have to be great, it's ungraded, uh, so just try your best and then submit it. Um, and then the last homework assignment, the one that is due on Tuesday, um, I'm gonna see if I can find my way back to my screen, I lost my mouse, there we go, um, is uh, to respond to the poem that we've been reading in class, poem in which I become Wolverine, um, and then uh, to post your response here in Google Classroom. Uh, so this is another assignment that should be done in your journal. Um, I've posted uh, the slide templates here, um, but uh, the criteria for success for this one, I'm gonna zoom in so that it's easier to see. For those of you who don't know how to do this, you can click the magnifying glass and then click on the side and then click back to go to the mouse. Um, for uh, a three out of three on this assignment, uh, you need to respond in at least a paragraph. Um, you have to identify what you believe the purpose of Jose Olivares' poem to be. 
um, and then use specific evidence from the text. Um, and so you should use at least one direct quote, so using some of the language from the poem in order to defend your view. Um, and you should talk about Jose Olivares' choices, right? We're talking about reading like a writer. That's all about the choices we make, the choices writers make in order to uh, accomplish their purposes. Um, so you're gonna do that. Uh, you can do that right on this slide, um, or you can make your own uh, copy. Like I said, you can always take the slides from my notebook, press Command C or Control C to copy them, and then paste them in your own notebook where you can write and edit the document. Okay, um, that was today's homework how-to, uh, this week's homework how-to. Hopefully that was useful for you. Um, I hope that at the end of this day, uh, you can look at yourself proudly in the mirror and go, did it. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions about the homework. Let me know if you need any support during the week. Uh, that's what I'm here for. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend.